हेलो एवरीवन भूमि भावा नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट इज ऑफरिंग द कोर्स ऑन एक्सलेटर फिजिक्स द कोर्स विल बी यूजफुल टू ग्रेजुएट एंड पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट स्टूडेंट्स रिसर्च स्कॉलर्स एंड फैकल्टी मेंबर्स वी यूज एक्सलेटर्स एवरी डे विदाउट नोइंग अबाउट दैम द सी आर टी बेस्ड टेलीविजन्स एंड माइक्रोवेव ओवन्स are very efficient accelerators in fact accelerators are an integral part of our life although accelerators were developed initially for basic research they are now used extensively in medical science industry national security environmental science production and study of new particles and super heavy elements isotopes produced using accelerators are used for diagnostics and treatment electron accelerators are used for food irradiation and cancer therapy and also as synchrotron radiation sources for material science research recently it is proposed to use accelerators for nuclear energy generation through ads which is accelerator driven subcritical reactor system using thorium as a fuel which is abundantly available in india these thorium based systems are expected to be inherently safe also it is estimated that thorium available in india can solve the nuclear fuel problem for about 500 to 600 years depending on how voltage is generated and acceleration is done accelerators are categorized as dc accelerators and rf accelerators rf accelerators could be linear or cyclic today accelerators in the energy range of kev to tv have been built about 35 to 40000 accelerators are in operation world over in dc accelerators the charged particles are subjected to potential difference only once and hence they are accelerated to not very high energies our dc accelerators are still popular as they can provide beams of high resolution which is a requirement for nuclear reaction studies particularly nuclear spectroscopy in rf accelerators a low voltage is used repeatedly to get high energy beams in linear rf accelerators the charged particles are accelerated in a linear path whereas in the circular accelerators they move in a circular path linear accelerators are expensive due to their large lengths the cost is considerably reduced by making them circular accelerators however in circular accelerators power loss due to emission of synchrotron radiation is very significant there is no power loss due to synchrotron radiation in linear accelerators as beam bending is not involved in order to design operate and utilize them efficiently the physics of the accelerator should be well understood the course gives a general understanding of how different types of accelerators work charged particle acceleration using different types of accelerating structures will also be discussed the course will also give a general understanding of longitudinal and transverse beam dynamics the course consists of three modules i'll be covering the first module on dc accelerators professor rajni pande will be teaching linear accelerators module 3 on cyclic accelerators will be given by professor amlendu sharma thank you and welcome to the course